I haven't gotten my hands on a PS5 console since the giveaway video that I did for one back in November. But today, I'm not giving this puppy away. As you may be able to tell from the inventory littering my floor, I'm actually going to trade it for more video games because I'm a video game reseller. So on this transaction, I'm looking to make a profit. So I listed it for trade on Facebook Marketplace and within just a day, I had a pretty compelling offer and that's where I'm headed right now to go pick that stuff up. So let's go do it. Going. Good, are you Brian? Yeah. Got a few different things for you. I wanted to go through it one at a time as I give it. Okay. You. The place that I couldn't get the controller in there. Okay. So that the wire for the controller, everything else is inside that. Gotcha. With the Xbox, uh, one of the controllers is inside, the other one's right here. Okay, great. You mind if I take a look at these, yeah, do you? No okay, thanks. Cool. Like I said, there's an extra controller inside there. Yeah. And then here's all the Wii plus the LNES. And it's just Wii, 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 and the Wii itself. I think it's right here, actually. Right there. Okay, great. And it's got all the all the games and everything. Yeah, all the games, wires, and perfect the charging stations. There's the battery backup to those uh, Joy Joy Cons. All that yeah, kind of awesome. Yeah. And did this have both the cords with it as well? Yep. So that one cord is, you know, the one cord is the controller itself. Yeah. And the second cord is, I want to believe it's that guy right there. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Because it is plugged into any USB. Excellent. Well, yeah, you're you're welcome to open this yeah. up as well. Okay? Yeah, it's it's still sealed, but you can go for it. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I appreciate this as well. I'm glad we were able to work out a deal, and I appreciate yeah, you meeting around. me here. I got all this extra stuff. This is my kids, man. This is not for me, but... Yeah, well, I hope they love it. They will. Appreciate <laughs> it, man. All right, you have a good one. All righty. Just got done with that deal. Got everything in the trunk here. Let's get back, lay it all out, and figure out what it's worth. So here, folks, is the full haul that we got in trade for the PS5. The other guy was really happy with the deal, and I was as well, because there's some solid value in this stuff here. Starting over here, we've got an Xbox One S with an extra controller. This is the all-digital one terabyte edition, so there's about $300 worth of value in that after fees on Amazon. Same thing with this one terabyte PlayStation 4 about $300 on that and that's in great shape. Then coming on down here, we have a really solid Wii bundle. When I bundled this on Amazon with Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort and one of these remotes and a nunchuck and everything, it should go for 140 bucks after fees. Which, by the way, folks, if you're hearing some of these numbers that I'm giving and thinking, oh my gosh, those prices are so inflated, this guy's exaggerating, it's just because you don't know about selling on Amazon. You can get some pretty ridiculous prices on there, and that happens to be where I sell. Over here, we've got an NES Classic Edition. Definitely don't sleep on this little console, because I'll be able to get around 170 bucks after fees on this. Even though I believe this system only retailed originally for like a hundred bucks or something. So definitely a good little find on that. Keep your eyes open for that if you are looking at pawn shops or yard sales. Then these are the games here that are all worth selling individually. We've got like six bucks or so, ten bucks, five bucks. Uh, this one's like maybe 25, 20. Spider-Man was the one that surprised me, Edge of Time. This is around a $20 game as well after fees. And then Harry Potter is like 10 or so, so I was happy about those. Then these games down here really don't have almost any value to speak of. I'll just end up trading them into a video game store. After tax, I had about $430 into the PlayStation 5, and once all of this stuff behind me sells, It'll end up netting me conservatively about $1,000. The actual calculation I did was like $1,036 or something. And that's after fees and shipping and all of that. All of this except for like the bulk non-valuable games is going to go into Amazon. So I'm going to be able to get all this stuff out the door today or maybe tomorrow if I'm a little bit lazy. So 430 bucks into over a thousand, definitely a good trade in my mind. Make sure to smush the like button and subscribe to the channel if you think so too. All right, folks, so the second and final trade of this video is going to be this Mario Edition Switch console. This console is actually brand new, except that I took out the inserts and little plastic 
bags that normally come with it, as you can see, because I needed to use them to complete another special edition Switch console that I had, but I didn't have the inserts and like baggies, because I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit neurotic when it comes to that. Have a video coming soon that if you guys are interested in the special edition Switch collection, you're going to really like. So stay tuned for that. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that later on. But yeah, this is brand new other than that, got all the elements in there. And I'm excited for this trade because there are some really cool, unique items that she offered uh, in exchange for this console. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I'm also trading her Mario Rabbids and Luigi's Mansion 3, which is a fantastic game, by the way. I'm playing through it for the first time right now. Um, but yeah, she's giving enough in this deal that I thought that I would throw those games in as well. Hi, and you're welcome to look at everything in here as well. Yeah. Does it have a charge so I can just see it turn on? It does, yep. Made sure of that before I left. Wait, is that the Nintendo Switch parts I wanted? Uh huh, your eyes do not see you. This is exactly what I'm looking at. <laughs> Mario Color, just don't like the one I wanted. Yeah. But now I have new two Nintendos. You don't have to. I got this one so I could play games with you. This is my old one. Oh, this is my old one. Yeah. Oh, I like it. You got the old one. Yeah, the, the Mario version's a, a really pretty addition, I thought. I wonder if Nintendo ever fixed that drift problem. <laughs> I think that the later Joy-Cons tend to be a little bit better about it, okay. from what I've heard. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're just gonna use these to play and have fun playing, playing games together, okay? Do you have any games so far? What's your favorite game? Uh, I think it would probably be either Super Mario 3D All-Stars uh -huh. or Mario Odyssey. Those are some great choices. Have you ever played Zelda? Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I've played that before. I like that one a lot. It's a really fun game. A lot of these are really fun. Yeah. I keep dying. I'm actually right in the middle of Luigi's Mansion. That's a great one, too. Oh, Yeah, thanks a bunch. I appreciate it. Yeah. Play Luigi's Mansion. Oh, sorry. It's really short. It's all right. You guys have a good one. <laughs> so, that lady was really cool. She told me right at the end she hopes I make a lot of money on this stuff. So, <laughs> that was a bit of a first. I make it very clear in my Facebook Marketplace descriptions uh, that, you know, I have an online video game store and everything. I'm pretty upfront with people in hopes that people will send me offers that are more in line with what I'm actually looking for. But anyway, yeah, really solid box of stuff here that we're getting uh, in trade. I'm going to get back and show you guys what all is in here and also an estimated value. All right, folks, here is the takeaway haul from the Mario Switch trade. This has to be maybe the first time that I have ever sold a Switch and not gotten a single console or handheld in return as trade because the games were just so good in this trade offering. There are a few games in particular that I wanted to highlight for you guys. One of them, The Legend of Dragoon, I think, even though it's the greatest hits version, should be able to get around 30 to 40 after fees on Amazon, so that was a pretty good one. Shenmue, I think because it's complete, is probably also like 20 or so dollars. Um, this one especially, Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Folks, if you've been following along with the channel for a little bit, you'll know that that's actually the third copy this month of that game that I have come into possession of. The first one was a complete in-box copy that had like the outer box with it and everything. It has like a cloth map in there and stuff. That one I actually got from a viewer. He sent it to me in the mail. I paid him via PayPal, which by the way, if you're a viewer and you're looking to sell off some collection items or an entire collection uh, and you'd like to do it that way to someone you can trust, you're welcome to reach out to me on Instagram or email or whatever. Um, but that's how I got the first copy of it. That one already sold. Then if you watched my last video, you know that I found a sealed copy of uh, this unit here, not with the outer box, but sealed at a video game store, bought that for 200 bucks, still haven't listed that. And now finally, unfortunately, this is the worst condition I've found so far because it is missing two of the discs. 
But it's crazy because prior to this month, I had never even heard of this game, Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Uh, even with just the two game discs, I saw one sold listing for $60, so that's probably what I can expect to get for that bad boy. That's what I factored in. Got one complete Sega game here, Power Challenge Golf. Unfortunately, that's only worth like 10 bucks or so. Same thing with Final Fantasy Tactics, but here we have Final Fantasy Advance uh, this box is actually in pretty nice shape uh, and I sold one just like this very recently for $60 So that's what I factored in for that guy then easily the gem of this whole Collection here Pokemon Ruby version. It's not completed Unfortunately is missing the manual, but overall the box at least it has really nice shape uh, There is a little bit of whiting on some of the edges unfortunately but overall, I mean, this is a nice condition copy. The game is in there. The manual is worth around like 18 or 20 bucks. And that really was the biggest item that just made me say, okay, I've got to get my hands on this collection one way or another. Also, uh, Tales of Fantasia complete. This box is probably honestly the nicest of the bunch. This one normally goes for around 50. I might try to get a little bit more just because this one is so absolutely minty fresh. Then coming on down to the DS games here, most of these are just like really common shovelware, unfortunately. We got a couple Kingdom Hearts games. They had some pretty good taste in uh, games if they liked Kingdom Hearts, although they also liked energy horse riders, so maybe not. The gem of these ones is definitely the Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light. I've sold this once before, and because this one's complete, normally I'll be able to get like 50 or so after fees on Amazon, but since this one's complete and there weren't any other FBA sellers, it's very likely I'll get more. I only factored in 50 to the calculation. Then this one, I don't think this was worth a ton, maybe like 10 or 20 on that. She also did randomly throw in Hey You Pikachu, which uh, is just a Nintendo 64 game that is absolutely unplayable now. It was then too. Uh, it's not really worth much at all. Over here we have Zoid's Legacy. That's actually like a $35 to $40 uh, Game Boy Advance game. That was one of the things that I had her throw in when she mentioned she wanted some Switch games as well. Uh, kind of modified the trade once she said that. And then this was maybe the most interesting item of the trade, a Game Boy Micro wireless adapter. This would like link to Game Boy Micros wirelessly. And those little accessories right there are actually surprisingly uncommon. There are a few wired Game Boy Micro links on eBay right now. They're all listed for like 150 plus. And there are a few international solds of uh, this link in particular, all for like 150 plus. Uh, I don't think there are any listed in the US right now and definitely none complete. So I'm probably gonna shoot for the moon on this one list at maybe like 250 or even 300 with best offer and just kind of see what kind of offers I get on it. I only factored in 150 to the total uh, valuation equation because I always want to be conservative on that. But I'm really interested to see what this little guy ends up selling for. I had about 460 or $70 into what I traded her for this haul back here. And the total estimated value after shipping and fees and everything is right around $750. I think it was 758, which as you guys know, not quite a double up, not quite the margins that I normally shoot for on deals like these, but to be honest, once I saw this boxed up Ruby version, I knew that I had to do what I had to to get my hands on it. Didn't want to try to squeeze the deal too hard uh, and have her walk away. So I did settle for a little bit less than I normally do, but that's kind of one of the benefits of being in this line of work is if you see something that just really grabs you, really grips you, uh, you can decide if you wanna make little compromises here and there just in the name of fun. Anyways, folks, that is about it for me today. If you didn't know, this channel is extremely close to hitting 1 million subscribers, so definitely smush that like and subscribe button while you're here if you have not already. <laughs> Every time I say that joke, there are inevitably like five or 10 people in the comments who just, it just goes right over their head. So it'll be interesting to read those comments. I guess not this time, because I just said it just a joke. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will catch you all. Let's see if this stays together here. On the flip.